So it is less than a month until October 17th or 1017. For many, it's the new 420. Of course, we're talking about pot, but legalized pot raises so many new questions, not just whether to smoke it or eat it, but if and how to invest in it. Right now, Canada has the world's most valuable pot stocks, but trying to figure out that market can make your head spin. So let's have a look at this. Tilray is a Canadian pot company based in Nanaimo. Now, last Tuesday, its stock opened at about $120. By mid-afternoon Wednesday, it more than doubled in value, briefly making it worth more than American Airlines. And then it just walked off a cliff. About a week later, it is worth less than before the roller coaster started. Now, maybe a lucky few made a mint off that brief spike, but most probably just held on for dear life. So how do you make sense of these wild swings? Well, luckily, our Peter Armstrong <laughs> has a good handle on this. You need to make this make sense. I can certainly try. Because, Adrian, at the heart of all of this is what are these valuations these companies really based on? You talked about Tilray, mm -hmm. and it's a great example. And let's take a look at the three big Canadian companies in this space. And if you look at Tilray, even after that big rise and fall that you talked about, it's up nearly 1,400% this year. Canopy is up 535%, Aurora 300 and change. And every stock in the world, it's always a balancing act between between the underlying fundamentals and some kind of a bet on a potential future. And right now, as you can tell, that potential future is one that's just clearly winning the day. I mean, just look at their market value. That's all their stock multiplied by the current share price. Canopy's $15 billion. Tilray was at 12, as high as 20. Aurora at 11.5. And these companies, with great promise, but very little in actual revenues, are being valued the same as, you know, construction giant, SNC-Lavalin, energy company, Synovus. Canadian Tire does $3 billion a year in sales. And yes, investing in pot and owning pot stocks has already made people incredibly rich. But analysts are warning, this isn't the first time that investors have tried to bet on the future value of something. I mean, think back to the dot-com bubble. Right. What's going on right now has happened before. It usually ends badly because human beings are not very good at valuing the future. Okay, so you're talking volatility, speculation. Does that go away, though, after October 17th? Some of the speculation will, if only because we'll start to get results and returns. But some of it will just shift to whatever's next. I mean, Canada's pot industry, it's worth anywhere between, I think, 4 and $12 billion. The global pot market, we're told, could be worth as much as $40 billion. Well, I'd say this is a very real industry with a, with a real market. We are going to have dominant multinational companies, and uh, most likely several of those will be Canadians. Okay, I have to know, how many times do people stop you and say, hey, you know, should I be investing in pot? An awful lot. And not just should I be, but what do I do with my investments that are already there? I mean, right. the guy that runs the local corner store has invested all of his money in pot stocks. So this isn't just big hedge fund managers. This is mom and pop investors that you know investing in an incredibly volatile time, an incredibly volatile industry. Yikes. Okay, Peter, thanks very much. You bet.